guys, it's Jana, and I'm here with Miss Emma, and we are gonna decorate the house for Christmas. I'm so excited, so we have, sorry. <laughs> so we have all these totes here that we gotta empty out and get everything and put it where it belongs for Christmas. I'm so excited, are you excited? <laughs> we got some stuff for Nightmare Before Christmas since we are hosting the Girl Scouts Christmas party, but yeah, she's loving zero. So I hope this motivates you to get your house all Christmified. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Let's decorate the house today. to unload everything out of the totes onto the pool table. It's just a nice big table, really. It's kind of the only use we get out of it anymore. We really don't play, but we probably should, but it's a good storage dumping ground, I guess. Every girl and boy. stuff is packed in the styrofoam and oh my gosh it just gets little styrofoam balls everywhere it kind of drives me crazy but oh well it's just easier to package it in its original packaging even if it is styrofoam I'll just have to vacuum that later <laughs> Thanksgiving thing it is for the front door and I totally forgot about it. I don't know why it's in a Christmas box So there you go This is our stocking holder. It is so cute. I really like it. We could have personalized the little star that goes on top, but I decided not to, just to keep it plain. But we've been using this to hold our stockings for a very long time. And we're just jamming out to music, dancing around, having a good old time. It's the funnest part of decorating.
Here is everything. Wow, we have a lot of Christmas stuff. I might need to declutter this a little bit. <laughs> Helpers, we make the wheels go round. Day and night, night and day, here in Christmas town. So now we're just sorting it out room by room and putting it in the room that it belongs, and then we can decorate the room with everything in it. So we're Santa's little helpers. We make all the toys, the trinkets for the girls and the trucks for the boys. We're Santa's little helpers, so we know every trick. Cause we wrote the book on old Saint Nick. It's a foggy Christmas night. So Rudolph, shine your light. Santa's little helper. Santa's little helper. house when I was little my brother got it for me it's a music box because I used to collect music boxes Santa's little helpers some might call us elves but Santa's little helpers is what we call ourselves we're Santa's little helpers and I've had this one since I was little too little Santa and Mrs. Claus Santa's little helpers I love these old ceramic Christmas trees. They are so beautiful. They just remind me of my childhood because we all had one. No, if you want a date under the mistletoe, if you want a kiss under the mistletoe, mistletoe, mistletoe. mistletoe. And Emma is going to fill up the advent calendar with all of these Hershey kisses. Every day the kid gets a kiss. Except for on actual Christmas, they get a lot. Now we gotta pack away all of our Thanksgiving. There's so much of it. <laughs> but I also use these hurricanes for Christmas, so it works out just fine. I just gotta wipe them out and put our new decorations in. I've got a mistletoe in my hand And the boys are lining up for my kids I also put a cup inside of the hurricane to fill it up a little bit more. That way you don't need to have as much stuff to fill it up. He's a dream boat of a man, my own sweet buttercup. I'm just so wrapped up by his presence. So let me I did get new pine cones this year. These are the scented pine cones. My old pine cones are no longer smelly. I probably got a few years out of them though. So I'm just gonna mix them in with some of my colorful pine cones that I have and make the room smell cinnamony. Fused together to Christmas hearts. Let this mistletoe. jars up here on the top and now that we have that molding up there you can't even see them so I had Emma grab me a box so they can sit on just get creative with the things you already have to make things look just right nobody will see that box Let this
so the kitchen is done. It looks so festive in here. I love it. So let this mess on to moment. On to the living room, and of course, it's really dusty up here. So Emma gave me the dusting rag. Let this mess on to moment. Fused together. I told her to give me a box to hold up this picture that Quinn painted. I think he was like seven. So cute. So, so So I do take down a lot of my actual daily decorations just to put up Christmas. I'm sure a lot of you do. And I just need to dust out everything and get everything out of here so we can put everything in for Christmas. So this is my favorite nativity scene. I found it at Kohl's like quite a few years ago and I had a hard time actually finding it because I saw it and then it was sold out and then I had to wait till the following year but I finally got it and I love it. Whatever happened to the rest of the year in this cabinet was my grandmother's. It was all passed down to me because they are all music boxes. A Christmas spirit again. And one place in my heart that was there from the start. And this whole cubby is going to be filled with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, if you can't tell, and I have a few Jim Shore pieces which are so beautiful. I love Jim Shore. I find myself wandering downtown, window shopping, listening to the sound from some street crier. special to me. This is an advent calendar that my grandma made me when I was little and I just remember always putting all the decorations on every year to count down until Christmas. She made one for me, my brother, and all of our cousins and I just cherish it. I really do. put away all of the regular stuff that we are not going to be using for this season. I just like to wrap it up with all the stuff that the Christmas stuff was wrapped in, so I just reuse it year after year. these cute pillows a few years back. I just love these Christmas pillows. They're so soft and snuggly and this blanket is so soft. It's one of those nice furry ones. 
Oh, it's so warm too. is just dancing all over the place. She is just so excited. She's too cute. And this is Psycho Santa. And there's a reason why we call him Psycho Santa. So let me tell you a funny story. So this guy was a gift to us from my mother-in-law and she got it as a floor model. It didn't work, but he was just too cute. So she gave him to us and then one year, I think it was in July or something, so not even thinking about Christmas. It's the middle of the night, like two in the morning, and this guy starts talking. He's packed up in the closet at our house and middle of the night, and we just hear some dude talking about Christmas and ho-ho-hoing, and we're like, what was that? So anyway, we found him, and we were totally freaked out, but it was all good. It was just Santa Claus, and he never spoke again. So since then, we've just called him Psycho Santa. Now we're setting up my Rudolph Village. I got all of these guys years and years ago, like off of eBay. I don't even think they make them anymore. I love them, they're so cute but they're little Rudolph action figures. So when I set up the table, I like to use just boxes from the other decorations, just under the sheet, and it just gives it different levels to play around with to just make the display a little something extra. Don't mind the nasty wall back there. We took the bar out and have not yet painted, so that will be happening after the new year, I'm sure. Christmas Day, everything should be wide. A glow for Christmas Day. Santa, won't you make it so I can make angels in the snow? Conditions are perfectly cold, so come on already. Truth be told, this is really too much to be asking. filler we just use some batting stuffing and make that little snowy all over the place just to fill it up a little bit <laughs> Have 
our house completely decorated. It is so fun. I love Christmas. All of our decorations are old and new. Some were my grandmother's, some were mine when I was little, some are new for the kids. It's just so awesome just putting all of our years together and bringing it out once a year and just celebrating together. So Emma was a huge help today, so thank you very much. It's so much fun. The boys were out at doctor's appointments and stuff and going out shopping for us. So they got us something really cool, I guess. We'll have to wait for Christmas. So they were busy, so they didn't get to help us, but it was just a mommy Emma thing today, so that was really nice. So I hope this motivates you to get your house all decorated. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Be sure to check out those videos I picked out just for you, and we will see you next time. Merry Christmas!